thank you so much for joining us this evening. My name is Stacia Pepper and I'm the student recruiter at Richtown campus and I'm so excited to be your host for this evening. We are so thrilled that you've joined us for this virtual open house event to learn more about how our programs can help you continue to improve life in the world growing around you. Growth and improving life are a common theme in what we do and what we strive for as a campus. This evening, the virtual open house event will be comprised of several video components paired with live presentations from some faculty and our student ambassadors. Following the presentation, we will have a chance to answer your questions in the Q&A portion of this session. At this time, it is my pleasure to hand off the virtual mic to our Assistant Dean of Academics, Dr. Simon Lachance. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Simon Lachance and I'm the Assistant Dean of Academics at Richtown. So I've been in this new role for one year. I've worked for the University of Guelph in various academic and administrative roles over the past two decades, and you can likely tell that I speak both French and English. So I'm excited about the student experience we can offer you at Richtown campus and at Clinton. If you have an interest in animals, plants, and the environment, we offer six full-time academic programs, including five diplomas and one certificate program. And one of them may be a perfect fit for you. So these long-standing programs have a proven track record of success, and we have program graduates making a difference across the province, Canada, and as well as abroad. Our current diploma programs include agriculture, equine care and management, environmental management, horticulture, and veterinary technology. We're also excited to offer one one-year certificate in veterinary assistant and office administration. So we also offer the in-class portion of the Dairy Earth's Person Apprenticeship Program. So you have joined us today to learn more about our equine care and management diploma. If you attend Richtown campus, you will have a student-centered experience throughout your exciting two years with us. I wanted to tell you that all our academic programs operate under University of Guelph academic policies and procedures, and these policies support academic integrity, academic excellence, and that I'm here at Richtown campus to help you achieve your personal academic and career goals. And I'm here as part of a great team as well. So as an instructor myself, I'm excited to be part of a very committed and experienced teaching team that helps you succeed in your applied studies. Our team brings tremendous life and work experiences to the classroom and the lab environments. And one of our priorities is to help you develop skills to get a job. So your experience will be rooted in discussing real world situations and learning solutions that address issues at the local, national and global level. I'm also excited to share that we will be introducing an optional co-op program with a co-op work term to be completed in the summer between year one and year two and that for the equine and care management program. Um, and we're, we'll be offering as well the, uh, the co-op programs for the agriculture and ORT programs. So we plan to have a co-op program question and answer section added to our website by the end of November. So stay tuned and visit our website for more information about this optional co-op program for equine. So today you're taking the first step to get to know more about our equine program. And it's important for me to tell you that we have various staff who provide important student services to help you move through the transition to becoming a full-time student at Richland campus. So we all encounter bumps in the road along the way, and I'll, I hope you'll reach out to our registrar's office or one of our excellent student services staff to address any challenges that may arise for you between now and September 2022 if you decide to start that. So overall, we celebrate an average 75% program graduation rate, meaning that three out of every four students that begin these programs will graduate. So I wish you all much success in finding the right student experience and program, and I encourage you to reach out to me if you have any further questions. So I hope to meet you sometime in the near future and to welcome you in person next September. So have a great day all. So now back over to you, Stacia. Thank you so much, Simon. And at this time, I'd like to ask current equine care and management student, Alexa, to share a little bit about her student experience. Hello everyone, I'm Alexa Hill. I'm currently in year two of the Equine Care Management Program. I'm from, I'm from a small city, Burlington, with roughly 10 years of experience working with horses. 
Because of some health issues, I've always loved horses and they've helped me with physical and mental therapy. I chose this program because horses are my passion. I would give everything to work with them and make them my living. It would be my joy and as they say, you never work a day in your life doing what you love. The equine, pro the equine care management program offers an awesome learning experience and I enjoy our class community. We are encouraged to learn from our experiences and keep an open mind to new ideas and practical theories discussed in lectures and labs. I'm enjoying our small size at this beautiful campus. It seems to suit my classmates and I. We have a terrific opportunity to know our professors and they are keen to help us in both the classroom and with our goals. I'm looking forward to my interesting work placement at the end of the semester. Thank you for attending and attending and I hope you find the campus com community that makes you feel like you belong as much as I have. At this time, we will turn over to the program video. My name is Kristen Engler. I am an instructor and the academic program coordinator for year one of the Ridgetown Equine Programs. The Equine Care and Management Diploma combines in-depth theory with business and agriculture courses, which help our graduates in understanding how equine businesses operate or how to run their own business. In lectures and labs, students develop practical and applied skills with individualized training. Our instructors come from a variety of backgrounds, coaches, trainers, competitors, international grooms, veterinarians, officials, and academics. Many remain active professionals in the industry. Our amazing teaching herd includes horses of varying temperaments and performance disciplines. Summer here is a former A-Circuit hunter. Students are responsible for horse care and grooming to an A standard. Expect early mornings and weekend chores. Students take six courses each semester and might spend up to 50% of their week in the barn in the first year. Some foundational topics of study will include equine cognition and behavior, horse health check and how to find early signs of illness or lameness, nutrition, anatomy, bandaging, handling, lunging, ground driving, and facility management. Extracurricular opportunities will include limited spaces for riding lessons with reputable coaches, boarding your own horse at reach, and penning restrictions, both local and international field trips to world-class facilities. Courses in the second year focus on advanced equine materials as well as business management skills, building on the foundational knowledge gained in the first year of the program. The second year courses include a combination of in-class lectures, live demonstrations by industry professionals, hands-on labs, and field trip opportunities. At the end of the diploma, students complete a four-week industry placement. Many reputable barns and businesses have been supportive in taking our students for placements, including Beck Clinics, Millerbrook, Angelstone, Woodbine Racetrack, and many more. Placements are sometimes a foot in the door for full-time employment offers straight out of school. Approximately 80 to 90% of our equine students were employed after graduation in recent years. Some sample career areas might include professional showgroom, barn worker, manager or supervisor, equine agritourism, training, coaching, or event coordination. So why start your equine studies with Bridgetown? As Equestrian Canada is implementing new licensing, certification, and insurance requirements, we have evolved our programs to meet EC standards, the NFACC Code of Practice, and the latest research in equine behavior, health, and welfare. Experienced instructors will help guide your studies. You'll get a leg up with connections to work placements and gain experience to complement your education. Experience and drive to succeed are prerequisites for success in the industry, but education is what will set you apart at the top ranks. If you wish to continue your education and complete the equine management degree program at the University of Guelph, Credits from the Equine Care and Management Diploma can be counted toward that or potentially other degrees. For more information, please don't hesitate to participate in the Q&A at the end of this session or reach out with an email. Hi, I'm Samantha Green, Equine Student Services Coordinator for the University of Guelph, Bridgetown Campus at Reach Huron. Student Services in Clinton acts as a liaison for students between the Clinton facility and Bridgetown Campus. We also oversee extracurriculars for students some of those including the equine club, opportunities to exercise the teaching herd, practice times at class, and equine events. We are always open to hearing student ideas for more extracurricular op opportunities. Reach Huron is located in Clinton, Ontario. Our equine facilities include a 22 stall barn with tack room, feed room, office, and separate storage area for hay and bedding. Our attached 108 by 211 foot indoor arena with adjoining 70 by 130 foot warm up area. 
full sound system and heated seating, and nine large paddocks with automatic waters and designated catch pens. Our educational facilities include a teaching lab stocked with a variety of hands-on practice stations, a heated educational classroom with wireless internet, and an amphitheater style computer lab with wireless internet. Also available for student downtime is our arena lobby and our cafeteria. Hi, my name is Kelly Hebner. Um, I've been a professional groom in the horse industry for some of the top hunter jumper barns for several years. I'm the facilities coordinator here at Ridgetown at Reach. I'm in charge of all of the horses care and for overseeing the students handling the horses. I try to help them do their best with every type of horse we have, be it uh, more beginner horses or more experienced horses. And I help them to um, grow and experience what it's like with the horses in a professional setting. The number one skill I think they'll gain is confidence in themselves when handling any horse in any situation. Not all of our horses are completely bomb proof. So we help the students learn what to do when things don't exactly go perfectly and how to stay calm and confident no matter what goes on around them. So here at Ridgetown at Reach, we have a horse for everyone. We have a couple horses for the very, very experienced and we have a couple horses for the, horse, for the people who've never touched horses before. This is Diesel. Diesel is a bay. He's one of the more mellow horses that we have. So we're tying up our horses and we're getting them ready to be brushed. We're putting on some extra large boots on Mr. Diesel. These help with some extra support while he's riding. The Velcro. The Velcro always goes towards the outside of the horse, which we learned in the program. So it's super cool that we could learn all these uh, things that help benefit the horses. Here, and I slide it down until it fits perfectly in its socket. I start with lightly putting the Velcro. So it's in the correct spot. And then I can go back and tighten it if needed. And he's all good to go. So this is my horse, uh, Stanley, and we'll be assessing his body condition scoring. So if you look throughout this book, it shows you all the condition scorings from one until 10. I'm looking at him and it looks like his neck is not obviously thin, but it's also not uh, overloaded with fat. Uh, his shoulder area is also the same as his neck, not obviously thin. There's a bit of muscle and fat in there. Uh, if you move down to his ribs, you can see a slight outline and it's very easy to feel them. So it's moderately thin. And in his back as well, there's a, a little divot up here, which means that he's a little bit underweight. And then we can also assess the tail head back here. You can feel it. And because it's not squishy, that means he's not overweight. So I'm gonna give him a body condition score of four uh, because, so he'll be like moderately thin, but we are adding weight onto him. Quick update on Stanley. While he came into the program needing some groceries, as you just saw, we're happy to say that his body condition score is now just about perfect at a five. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Flanagan, the program coordinator for the second year of the Equine Care and Management Diploma Program at the Ridgetown campus. In second year, you'll focus a little bit more on the management side of things, but don't worry, you'll be able to work with the horses as well. Meet Grinny and Ice, they're eating right now, but these are the horses that we have living on campus and they live here year round. And now I'll hand the virtual mic to Equine Diploma student, Helen. Station. Hi everyone, I'm Helen Savosenko, an international student from the capital of Ukraine, Kyiv. I'm a proud first year equine care and management student studying at Rich in Quinton, Ontario. I have eight years experience in the equine industry through dressage and show jumping. Even with my extensive equine background, I choose the equine program at Richtown campus because it's always an advantage to have a post-secondary diploma in a competitive label market. I knew I needed a high level and high quality program and this program is just that. This program is a perfect choice for those passionate about the equine industry and there is an excellent blend of important courses in the program. We welcome students who have never worked with courses before, as well as those who were born in the saddle, for example, like me. We all start with the important basics and grow our knowledge together. Even if you're experienced, you will learn so much. I'm learning more than I expected and many students would agree as well. 
Our labs in the teaching brain help prepare us for our four-week industry work placement, where we can have an important real-world work experience. Our professors are so connected to the industry, so they introduce us to equine organizations and contacts that we can utilize in the future. We are learning that there are so many career possibilities within this industry, and that's why it's so interesting. Thanks so much for joining us today, and next I will hand over my virtual mic to Michaela. Thank you, Helen. Hi, everyone. My name is Michaela Karens, and I'm a second year equine care and management student here in Ridgetown. And I'm from a small town in northern Ontario called Aurelia. Uh, Ridgetown campus has such an amazing, small and welcoming community. It is an inclusive campus where everyone feels at home. With that being said, I love how my professors know me by my name and we can talk one on one when we need some extra support with uh, any of the course content or preparing for upcoming tests. Richtown campus is the only post-secondary institution in Ontario to offer an equine diploma program. And I have to say it's been the right fit for me. And I welcome the challenges and requirements of the program. I'm enjoying my second year in Richtown and being in a bigger learning environment with students studying in other programs, uh, which enhances my student experience. I've had many positive experiences in this program. I'd highly recommend it to anyone looking into equine studies. I encourage you to ask us any questions you might have at the end in the Q&A session. If you're ready to choose Rich Jeff for Fall 2022, apply now. Thanks for joining us today. Next, I'll hand the virtual mic back to Stacia. I just wanted to say thank you to all of our student ambassadors for sharing their Rich Town Campus student experience with us. And at this time, we will now hear from our campus registrar, Christina. Hello, I'm Christina Hogart, the Campus Registrar at Ridgetown Campus. We are so excited to welcome you today to learn more about the Ridgetown Campus experience. I'm happy to help you with any questions you might have about the application process, admissions, program and academic requirements, transcript requests, proof of enrollment letters, or graduation. The admission requirements for this program are an Ontario Secondary School Diploma, or equivalent, with a minimum cumulative average of 65% in six grade 11 or grade 12 U, C, M, or O level courses, including a minimum of grade 11 C math and grade 12 C English. Alternatively, you can apply as a mature student if you are 19 years of age or older and have been out of high school for a minimum of one year. Some pre-admission testing may be required. Applications are being accepted for fall 2022 on ontariocolleges.ca, so you can apply now. The equal consideration deadline for our competitive vet tech program is February 1st. All other non-competitive programs will continue accepting applications as long as there is room in the program. Offers for all non-competitive programs will start going out in early February. Offers for both delivery methods of the competitive vet tech program will start going out in early March. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at the contact information provided on the slide. We hope you enjoy learning about our campus, the real world experiences we offer, the student centered community and how you can help improve the world growing around you. We look forward to welcoming you in the fall. As Simon mentioned at the beginning of the open house, we are so lucky to have a dedicated student services team to assist our students here at Ridgetown campus. Let's now take a few moments to meet the team. Hi, I'm Amy Weisel and I work in Student Accessibility Services, also known as SAS. We support students who experience disabilities with full and equitable participation in academic life. Disabilities encompasses a wide spectrum of conditions such as learning disabilities, medical, mental health, ADHD, vision, head injuries, and many more. These conditions are permanent, temporarily, or newly onset. SAS works one-on-one -on -one with students so they can reach their full potential by creating an accommodation plan that's specific to each student's learning needs. If you have received an offer of admissions, I encourage you to contact SAS by emailing rcsas at uaguelph.ca to discuss your accessibility needs. Please visit the Student Accessibility Services section on our website to determine what documentation is needed to register with SAS. The University of Guelph Ridgetown campus is committed to supporting your intellectual development through a broad network of advising, counseling, and support services to assist you in meeting your personal and academic goals. 
my name is Kim Sonnevelt and I'm the program counselor for all of the diploma and certificate programs at Ridgetown campus. My role is to support your academic goals and include support duties such as providing information about your academic requirements, including schedule of studies or what courses you need to take, your continuation of study requirements and your graduation requirements. I can assist you with course selection, discussion of your academic standing and how to proceed in any academic consideration requests. Another part of my role includes assisting you with math, with time management and organizational skills. I can also act as a resource for other campus services. I look forward to working with you once you choose the University of Guelph Ridgetown campus and one of its outstanding programs. See you soon. Hi there. My name is Becky Clark and I'm the Educational Resource Clerk at the Ridgetown Campus Library. One of my roles at the library is to assist students in finding resources and information that they need in order to successfully complete projects and assignments. The library is also a great place to spend time in between classes or studying. In addition to the library, I also organize the online bookstore where we sell textbooks, course manuals, supplies, and other materials required for your courses. There's also a section on our bookstore where we sell campus swag. We look forward to seeing you this fall on campus and I look forward to being a participant in the success that you have at Ridgetown. Hi everyone, my name is Alice McMahon. I'm the Student Financial Aid and Awards Counselor here at Ridgetown Campus. One of the areas that I support students in is through our Student Awards Program. There are many great opportunities that you might want to consider as you start to look at our Student Awards Program, including entrance scholarships and financial needs-based bursaries. I hope you'll check out our website for full details on our Student Awards Program, and as always, you can reach out to me at any point in time with any questions at rcawards at uofwealth.ca. Another area that I support students through is in the area of financial aid through the Ontario Student Assistance Program, or OSAP for short. OSAP is student aid funded by the federal and provincial governments to assist with a portion of the cost of going to post-secondary school. Full-time and part-time OSAP is available and both are applied to online through their website. To learn more about OSAP, you can check out their website at osap.ca. I can also assist with any students that are studying at Ridgetown campus from another pro province. If you're working on a student financial aid application through your home province, I can help get any forms filled out that you may need or confirm your enrollment as well. Uh, that's it for me today and I hope everyone has a great day and thanks so much for your time. For the last decade, the town of Clinton and the surrounding area has provided equine students studying at Reach Huron with various housing options. This small town of 3,000 people offers all the daily amenities students need and the larger town of Goderidge is just 20 minutes away. So students can search various housing options in Clinton on our campus uh, website. And in your second year of studies, you, if you'd like to live on or off campus in Richtown, this small and friendly community of 3,000 people offers plenty of options, including Steckley Hall residents on campus or rental houses, apartments, or rooms that you can rent off campus. So before we begin the question and answer portion of the virtual open house, I just wanted to take a few moments to invite you to follow us on our socials. So you can stay up to date with all campus information by following us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, and our website.